Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please all kneel. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. <clears throat> San Pedro Calungsol. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Because of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral laws, the saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, for there was always one spirit in them and one faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Josephat, bishop and martyr. And as we celebrate this Mass, we also pray for everyone as this typhoon passes our country. We pray especially those who are being affected by the typhoon at this very moment. We pray that God may protect us and keep us safe. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist by calling to mind our sins and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful and healing love. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stirred up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Josephat as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the Holy Ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, 
although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself, so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved specially to me, but even more so to you as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me, and if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self? Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit, for just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in His day. But first, He must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we wish to thank you for joining us in this Mass today in the midst of the typhoon that we are experiencing. And we wish to apologize for the delay of our Mass because we had to settle some technical issues. But thanks be to God that we could still bring this Mass to you live from the Manila Cathedral. And we offer this Mass specially for our brothers and sisters in different places who had been affected and are now being affected by the typhoon. Ipagdasal po natin ng ating mga kapatid, ang ating mga kababayan na dinaanan na at ngayon ay dinadaanan pa ng malakas na bagyong ito na nawa ay sila'y manatiling ligtas na ang bawat isa sa atin ay ingatan ng Panginoon. We unite ourselves to them especially in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. My dear brothers and sisters, we have an interesting first reading today. It is from the letter of St. Paul to his friend and co-worker named Philemon. This is the shortest letter of St. Paul in the Bible. And in St. Paul's letter to Philemon, he is appealing to Philemon to accept back his runaway slave named Onesimus. Sa sulat na ito ni San Pablo ay pinapakiusap niya kay Philemon na tanggapin yung kanyang lumayas na alipin na si Onesimo. And St. Paul is telling Philemon that by some stroke of divine providence, after Onesimus ran away from Philemon, they encountered each other. Nagkatagpo sila. And later, Onesimus became a Christian a fellow believer in Jesus. And so Paul in his letter to Philemon was telling him, please accept back Onesimus, no longer as a slave, but as a brother, because we now share in the same faith in Jesus Christ. St. Paul becomes an instrument of reconciliation between Philemon and Onesimus. And St. Paul wishes to emphasize that because of our same and common faith in Jesus, we should no longer treat each other according to our social status. No more masters, no more slaves. Because of our faith in Jesus, we are all one. In Christ, we are brothers and sisters in Jesus. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, you also celebrate the memorial of St. Josephat. St. Josephat was born in 1580 in Ukraine into an Orthodox family. But later in his adult life, he embraced the Eastern Church that had reconciled with the Roman Catholic Church. He became a Basilian monk and then later an archbishop. And as an archbishop, he dedicated his whole life working for Christian unity. He wanted the Orthodox in his archdiocese to reconcile with the Roman Catholic Church. But there were those who were against 
his plans and so they plotted to kill him. St. Josephat is considered as a martyr of Christian unity because he gave himself, he offered his whole life for the unity of Christians. Like St. Paul, St. Josephat also worked for reconciliation and unity, pagkakasundo at pagkakaisa. In our Gospel today, the Pharisees asked Jesus about the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, the kingdom of God is already among you. Nasa piling nyo na ang kaharian ng Diyos. Because the kingdom of God is not a place. It is not a structure. It is not a palace. The kingdom of God is a person. The kingdom of God is Jesus. And so Jesus says, because I am already with you, that the kingdom of God is already here among you. And if we belong to the kingdom of God, if we believe in Jesus, then we share in the unity of that kingdom. Kung tayo'y naniniwala kay Jesus, at kung si Jesus ang siyang kaharian ng Diyos sa ating piling, sa ating pananampalataya kay Jesus, napapabilang tayo sa iisang kaharian. At kung tayo'y kabilang sa iisang kaharian, tayo'y magkakapatid, magkakaugnay, walang pagkakaiba, walang pagkakawatak-watak. If there is unity among us, if there are no divisions and discord among us, if we do not treat each other according to our social status, but we treat each other as brothers and sisters in Jesus, then the kingdom of God is truly in our midst. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus tells us today, the kingdom of God is among you. Do we experience that kingdom in our midst? Do we experience the kingdom of God in our society, in our families, in our, in our churches, in our neighborhood? Nararanasan na ba natin ang kaharian ng Diyos na sabi ni Jesus na sa ating piling? Nararanasan na ba natin ang kaharian ni Jesus dahil may pagkakaisa sa atin? Dahil itinatrato natin ng bawat isa bilang kapatid na ang tingin natin sa bawat isa hindi mataas ako at mababa siya, mas magaling ako at mahina siya, mas matalino ako at mas wala siyang alam. Kung ang tingin natin sa bawat isa ay magkakapatid kay Jesus at kung may pagkakaisa sa atin, tunay na nagahari ang kaharian ng Diyos sa ating piling. Like St. Paul and like St. Josephat, let us work for unity. Let us be agents of reconciliation. Let us work for dialogue and communion among us. Let there be unity and peace. Let us treat each other as brothers and sisters in the Lord. And if we are able to do that, then we can truly say that the kingdom of God is among us. Please stand. Let us pray with the fullest trust to the Lord of life who waits for us at the end of life's road. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may constantly prepare the people to welcome Christ when he returns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that by their commitment to justice and peace, 
Christians may bring all people together in faith and hope and prepare them for the final coming of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The tragedies caused by nature or human cruelty may not distract us or weaken our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may accept Jesus in their hearts and see him present in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us pray for those who were affected and for those who are now being affected by the typhoon. We pray for the safety and protection of everyone. And we also include the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, you are always near to us. You know our needs better than we do. Help us to be always aware of your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Josephat, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Josephat and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umagang ito kahit na bumabagyo. Salamat sa mga Manila Cathedral volunteers and staff na kasama pa rin natin dito upang uh, maihatid sa inyo ang banal na misang ito. At sa inyo pong lahat na kasama natin sa live streaming, we thank you for joining us in today's Mass and we continue to pray for each other, especially for the safety of everyone. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.